Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept in the FX. There is nothing but understanding the injection context and also the FX in Angular signals. So now let's try to understand about this one. So normally, if you try to check it in Angular, signals allow for reactive data flow. So we know that signals are used for reactive data flow. With effects, you can respond to changes in the signal values, just like the computer signals and all those things. With effects, you can respond to changes. So that means you can execute some set of logic whenever the signal value changes. However, to create an effect, it needs to be done within an injection context. So that means if you want to create an effect, you cannot create it anywhere, wherever you want it in the code, you cannot create it. It needs to be done in the injection context. If you try to understand about this injection context, I have explained you about this injection context before only. So that injection, depending the dependence injection, where that uh, dependence injection should be imported or uh, injected, I have told you that it, that should be done in injection context. So that means the effects also should be created in injection context only, where Angular's inject function can be accessed. Typically, this one will be done in the constructor and uh, running injection context. In the injection context, you will be having. So this is typically within a component directive or a service. So that means you can create an effect only in the component directive or a service where the injection context will be available. So the first one is creating effects in a component constructor. Let's try to see how we can create in a, the first place where we can create the comp, uh, effect is in, in the component constructor. When creating an effect inside a component, it monitors the changes to a signal and performs some action when the signal updates. The easiest way to register an effect is within the components constructor because the component provides an injection context by default. You know about this one. So for example, let's say that let's go to the example for this one. So I will try to go with a simple example and here you will be having a signal component. Okay. And let's say that I'm having a count. Okay. So I'm having a count here. I will remove this entire code and I will remove this button also. And here I'm having a simple signal. So now where can I define an effect? So if I try to write an effect here directly, okay, so you cannot be able to write the effect here. So console.log of, so you can write the count value is something like this, you can write it, right? So I will try to import this one. So here I can write it. Now it is showing an error here. The effect which lacks the something, something, something it is showing. So that means we cannot create it here. So it should be created in a constructor where the injection context is available. Constructor and here you can define an effect without any problem. The effect will be created. Now again the output is working. So here effect is used inside the constructor which locks the signal value to the console every time the count changes. The inject function used internally by the effect works here because the constructor provides the injection context. That's it. So now you can also assign an effect to a field also. So you have, you can assign an effect to a field also. You can also assign the effect to a class field. This approach helps give the effect a descriptive name and can make the code easier to understand and manage. So whenever you are trying to give a name, so instead of this one in the constructor, if you want to provide it at the outside means, then what you need to do it is here for this one, you can give it to a class field name or a class property name. So let's say that a logging effect. So you can create it with the logging effect is equal to. So you can write it like this also. So that means this one is a class property name. You can also mention it like this. So this gives a meaning meaning effect and also descriptive name and also co it will be easier to understand. The effect is now stored in the logging effect field, which makes the code cleaner. The functionality remains the same. It locks the count value whenever it changes. So then also it will change. Creating effects outside the constructor using injector. So now the, the second one which I want to tell you is creating the effects in outside the If you want to create an effect outside the container, how can you create it? If you need to create an effect outside the constru uh, constructor, you can use Angular's injector to explicitly pass the injection context to the effect. This is helpful when you want to defer the effects creation, perhaps based on external conditions or user action. For example, let's say that if you want to do it, do it means uh, let's say you are having the increment method. Okay. So let's say that we are having an increment method. Whenever you are trying to do an increment, I need to call this effect. 
okay so i need to call this effect let's say here or otherwise let's say that initiate logging initialize logging okay so this is the method and here logging i will try to give you this one and this is the method which we will try to use it and here i will be using it here like this so now you will be getting an error here in this one so why because you will be getting an error cannot find initial okay logging effort let's try to remove this one yeah now you are right now you are not getting any error when i try to click on this login now you are getting an error in the console that it will it will tell same as this so whenever you are trying to inject so it should in the injection context such as constructor a factory function a field initializer or a function used with the running injection context so now that means we need to use the running injection context so when i try to use the running injection context means what i need to do i need to use a constructor okay and here we need to in, inject the injector we need to have the injector that is nothing but injector okay and here you can write something like run in injection context and you need to provide the injector okay and here you, you will be having a factory function and that factory function in this one you will be doing it here that's it so now if you try to injector injector okay cannot find name injector means so you need to angular code that's it so now when you try to do it and if i go to the console for this one and if i try to check the console for this one let's go to the console yeah when i click on login now this time you will be able to see the count is zero so that means all the time the effect is executing so instead of using this running injection context you can inject this one and also you can use the effect like this so like this you can use it but here you can provide the injector here as the second argument so here you can provide the injector and here you need to provide the injector this dot injector sorry this dot injector that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one then also you will be able to see the same output so like this you need to provide the injection context here initialize logging is a method that creates an effect when called instead of in a constructor the injector is passed in an option to the effect ensuring that it has an access to the necessary injection context even outside the constructor so the last one which i want to tell you is the destroying the effects by default angular will automatically destroy the effects when the component directory or service that contains that them is destroyed however you can also manually destroy the effects by capturing the effect ref written by the effect function if you need effect to persist beyond the lifetime of its host component directory you can man set manual cleanup to true and manually destroy the effect so how we can do this one so let's say that you are having a logging effect okay so i will be removing this one all so let's say that you will be having a logging effect like this okay so this one will be automatic this logging effect will be automatically destroyed okay if you try to understand clearly this logging effect will be automatically destroyed when this component is destroyed but if you want to manually de delete uh, manually do the cleanup and all those things means then you need to provide an option that is nothing but in the effect manual cleanup to true okay when you use this manual cleanup to true then this effect will not be destroyed even the component has been deleted deleted means even if the component is destroyed this effect will not be removed so what you need to do you need to write it in the manually destroyed means so you need to do in the ng on destroy so like this you need to destroy it. the effect function returns an effect ref which has a destroy method that allows you to manually destroy the effect in this example what i will write we destroy the effect inside the effect using the ng on destroy life cycle to avoid the memory leaks so summary the total summary of this one which i want to tell you is fx can be fx respond to signal changes and can be created inside components directory or services using angular injection context one thing you can create fx in a component constructor or defer their creation by passing an injector object to the effect that one also i have shown you in the initialize logging fx can be automatically destroyed when the comp containing context component directory etc is destroyed or you can destroy them manually using an act effect ref for more control so this is all about the injection context in the fx thing hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you